You have been involved in this process. Give us a sense of what's come up to this point, the comments that were submitted, what the likely results are. Well, I think as, as reported, the $50 billion will definitely go into place, and that was foreshadowed several months ago. There, will be some, there were some changes to the list based on comments that companies submitted uh, and concerns that they would actually hurt U.S. manufacturers. So there were some adjustments made, but I think this $50 billion should be seen as the opening gambit. China will certainly respond with a commensurate amount of retaliation, and then it'll be the ball will be back in the president's court as to whether to go ahead with additional tariffs of and a list, as reported, has been developed of up to a hundred billion in additional tariffs. Uh, and I would expect that uh, the president will be looking very closely at that list, uh, depending on how China responds. Well, if China does respond and they do move forward with 100 billion, as you say, that's been reported, they're preparing a list right now. Where does this all end? Does China then add another 100 billion? Well, uh, I think we don't know, honestly. I think the president is, uh, is inclined towards tariffs because uh, there are some longstanding issues with China and certain unfair trade practices. And I think the, the president's conclusion was that the U.S. didn't have enough leverage to try to get China to move on some of those. So tariffs provide that, that leverage. Of course, China is going to respond with their own tariffs to try to nullify the president's leverage, and then it will be a back and forth. So I don't think we know, I don't think the president knows where this ultimately goes. But I think I think we should assume it's game on for a while here in terms of tariffs going back and forth.